we have here is the uh, the kit needed to make the Wahoo proof swim and ballyhoo rig with the uh, Carolina Witch as our chase lure. The Carolina Witch has a, features a streamlined head. It's a good looking bait. It runs deeper with less weight, sheds weeds real well. It comes with straight extruded hair. It's a great bait enhancer. And you'll get four of those, four of the half ounce egg sinkers, four of the rigging springs and necessary crimps and wire and hooks that you need to make this rig as well as the monofilament leader. Let's go ahead and get right to the rigging process. What makes this different from the other Ballyhoo rigs is we're going to insert a loop of wire and it's going to uh, encompass the hook along with the monofilament so when a fish chews on it, it's going to last a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and let's insert a bait spring onto our leader. Let's go ahead and put on our crimp. Let's go ahead and insert the half ounce egg sinker. As you can see, that's the order that they would go in. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, put on our hook. I always like to start with the hook facing down. We bring the loop of the monofilament back through the sinker itself. As you can see, we bring it out the other side. We, look, we relocate our crimp. We insert it into the barrel of the crimp so, so it looks like so. Then we take our wire, which we, which we should have pre-bent. We're going to run that through the hook and into the Wait a minute, through the top, in the wrong hole, my, I need my breathing glasses here. Then we're going to take and run that one through the hook eye. We're going to bring them both into the sinker bore itself. We're going to push them through. As you can see, now, you're, now you have wire and monofilament extreme seating out one side. We make sure that the mono's in. We make sure that the, that the wire is inside the crimp. We push it back a little bit to where it's just barely sticking out. We go ahead. We crimp, we properly crimp our crimp with our crimping pliers in the right hole. We can go ahead now, the hook should be facing down. We bend the long end to tag into the wire up. Then it's simply a matter of trimming this other piece of monofilament. We bring our bait spring back into the picture. And so what you're gonna have is you're going to have your bait spring that it can tighten down on the nose. You can trim this off when you rig your bait. We leave it a little bit long. It's easier to cut things off than it is to have them too short. So if you look real careful, you'll see that you have a piece of wire here and a piece of monofilament. And while this isn't truly wahoo proof, most fishermen call it this way, simply because a lot of times you hook the fish and they're able to chew on this and because the wire is crimped in with the monofilament, you're going to save yourself a lot of fish getting away. And yet you're still going to be able to catch tuna because tuna are sensitive very much to wire leaders, which is why everybody fishes monofilament or fluorocarbon leaders. And it's a really good rig. At this point, the simple thing you need to do is you need to simply take your take your Carolina Witch, insert it on there, insert it in through the rear, bring it out the front, insert your crimp to the to one of the bores, bring it back through. You want to leave just a little bit of the crimp sticking, I mean, a little bit of the monofilament sticking out of the crimp. That way you're not mashing down on the weakened part of the monofilament. You definitely want to crimp it so that there's a slight saddle there where you're not pinching down on this monofilament on this side. You don't want too big of a loop either so it'll pull through the water without creating a lot of bubbles. But that's your basic rig. If you go ahead and see this and you go ahead and rig your ballyhoo, the width should be facing the direction that is shown, then the bait spring, and then, you, and then you've got your sinker, your pin, and of course your hook. And this chin weight under the, under the chin of the ballyhoo is going to cause that bait to swim more upright. But it's a real good rig. You'll still catch your tuna when you get into King Mac or Wahoo or something. You're still going to, still going to keep some fish that normally would have cut you off. It takes a little bit more wire. It takes a little bit more time. It's a little more tedious to build. But it's a very effective rig, very popular rig. And you'll have a lot of luck with this offshore. Once again, if you buy the kit uh, because you're buying exactly what you need and making it yourself, you're going to save about half of what you would save at retail.